Our goal is to help create safe, caring, and respectful schools where students thrive academically and simply do the right thing. The moment you walk into a school of character, you can feel a difference. Staff and students feel safe, valued, and connected. It feels more like a community or a family. CEP and our national schools of character thrive to build a nation of ethical citizens who pursue excellence in all areas of their life, one school at a time. I think a school of character matters because you grow up in a school of character and you learn the way of life. It's really nice, you know, to be able to show people that you're a teenager who's not just some random kid running around. You're someone who has respect and you care for things and you care about your community. If you study, you should rock this thing. People actually study. Some people say that it means more on the plate, that the teachers are overloaded. Uh, the answer to that is, is part of the plate. It is the plate. In other words, without it, you do not have a well-rounded school education. Being a school of character allows us to have a cultural change, more, more of a deeper change in the school and how we approach anything. Uh, there's a, an honesty that goes along with that. Not only the communication honesty between parents and, and, and teachers, between then students and teachers, and then students and parents. So that's a cultural change that also uh, gets into uh, the academic honesty. Character ed has to have all the strands of it's pulled together. It has to have the family, the community, and the school. They all have to work together. It has to be woven together, and that makes the fabric strong. Being a school character means everything to me. It means that I'm making a difference, that I'm uh, instilling the core values on my students, that they can make a difference. And we've just changed um, the way we interact with each other, colleague to colleague, um, and the way the students interact, and the care and the dedication the teachers have for these children, and just the relationships we build, and that's what it's about. And it just makes teaching and coming to school that much better. Having children go here, I, I think that one of the things you see is you want them to be a, a well-developed individual. You don't want just to have the academics, because academics is great, but beyond that, you've got to be a person who can get along with other people, who have empathy for other people, who really have a, the whole model of a person involved. And I think we do a lot of that through the elementary and middle school, but then in high school, it carries on. The relationship that we have that exists between our student achievement and our character education. We believe that these two programs have allowed us to become a very successful school. Our students learn every day about mathematics and how to read and how to write, but even more important than that, they learn to show integrity. They learn to be responsible citizens. Character education is just a way of life. It's infused in everything that we do throughout all the content areas. It's a way of talking and being with one another. It's about being family and treating each other the way that you would want to be treated. We have this expression that it takes an entire village to raise a child. So it's not just the parents or the institution like the school raising a child. It's, an, it's a concerted effort. Character education does play a big role in our family. My husband and I are not alone in teaching our kids morals and manners. We teach the same thing at home, but school, they're around their friends, there's peer pressure and character, character education in the schools. It just helps us as a family. I think it affects what happens at home because I can be really caring to my sisters and brother. If I treat him really well, he treats me back well. I think the level of involvement of the teachers uh, is phenomenal. I see that the teachers don't just stop character education and that sense of caring when the school day's over. And they're happy to be here. It's not just an obligation. 
that's not a lesson plan that a teacher's written. It's a sense of that character education actually maybe having a little influence on the teachers themselves and the staff members. You just put it in everything that you do. You put it into your reading lessons, you put it in the math lessons because you have cooperative learning and math lessons. You have them working together in pairs. So you talk about the words that you're using. They use it in everyday life. It's something you don't have to prepare much for. It is just being more intentional with how you are teaching the students to be responsible and making them aware of what they're doing and how it affects themselves and how it affects others. I feel like these are skills that will serve them forever. You know, learning how to not lose your cool, but instead learn to negotiate. Those are skills that all the adults need and we're giving them to kids to give to kids. It, this can make great kids. When kids behave, they spend a lot of time learning, and teachers focus on teaching as opposed to disciplining. We've been able to take the wonderful behavior and culture in our classrooms and allow our teachers to teach. And the more time we provide our teachers for instruction, the better our students are going to do on achievement tests. We have a 99% re-enrollment rate. Here at St. Louis Charter School, we, for the past, Eight to nine years have had an attendance rate of over 95, 96, 97 percent. We know we have to put financial and human resources behind that to make it fly. And so our teachers are um, involved in that process. They're seeking out their development and they're going out and they're learning the best strategies, the best practices that make sense for them in their classroom, not only to help grow good kids and good people, but how to push the academics as well. One of the things that was our struggle is that teachers are so busy and they really thought that character ed had to be something that there was one more job they had to do. So one of the ways that we've implemented it is giving it to the students. A lot of people um, think character education is fluff. Uh, they don't believe it's real. They believe sort of flavor of the month. We have a lot of data, you know, here at St. Louis Charter School that shows it is effective and it does work. I think the barrier to character ed for some school districts, for some schools, is they see that it, it's a separate program. That they view character ed as something they have to add on or add in, and it can't be that way. It has to be a philosophy, it has to be part of everything that you do. People think it's expensive. People think that they're going to have to buy programs, and it's just not the case. We've, we've spent almost nothing this year and implemented quite a few new things just by the creativity of the people who work here. We really believe it was the marriage of looking at our data and what we were doing with character that allowed for our achievement to grow. And there are skeptics out there that might say, yes, but was that a fluke? Was that just a one-year occurrence? Well, for seven years, we have really focused on character education in our school. And for seven years, we have been a Missouri Top Ten school. Our school system is broken um, and there are a lot of things that need to be fixed and we should be pushing and, and having more rigor in academics. Um, we should have higher expectations. We should be able to compete with any country. I feel that character education has, is starting to really help shape them as the people that they're going to be. I think we're giving them a place to practice and giving them the safety to have that practice and then they go out in the world and we hear how great they are. I think every school should have a little bit of character education because when you get out of school, you can not only be book-wise, but you have to also be people-wise. I am extremely grateful for being brought up in a school of character. I know that my future is going to be a lot more comfortable working with other people and interacting with other people because of the manners that I've learned here and because of the interactions that I've seen as examples from my parents and teachers. We can create peaceful, safe environments. We're already allowing our kids to get better academic results. It's just, it's just kind of a no-brainer.
I've always had this feeling that this is kind of a unique little microcosm of, of how the world should be. It's just a very peaceful, friendly place. We should want our kids to be successful in everything that they do, uh, not just academics. And I think character ed is that missing link. My vision is that every school in America will have become a national school of character. We are humbled to say and proud to say that in 2011 we were a national school of character. And on top of that, we were also named a 2011 National Blue Ribbon School for High Achievement. We were the only school in the United States this year to receive both of those honors. So when you talk about a marriage between achievement and character education, Crestwood really exemplifies that. Wonderful school. <laughs> Number one in the country, Crestwood. We do a lot of cool stuff. It's wonderful, we have a great time. To be a school of character is a great thing, and um, to raise kids with character is a great thing. We are so proud that we are a national school of character. To find out how your school can become a school of character, go to www.character.org or call 1-800-988-8081. To help get started at your own school, download our free framework for schools of character, the 11 principles. And finally, come be inspired and get practical suggestions from other teachers, administrators, and experts at our character.org national forum. Come to our website for more details.